Okay, so on the Acadia, I'm just about to demonstrate the 12 volt lighting circuit within this vehicle. All the lights that we will be demonstrating are of an LED nature. Uh, so uh, they're very low wattage and, uh, and the heat energy that they give off is very little. So if there was left on for a long period of time, first off, they're not drawing the battery down, uh, but they're not uh, giving off excess heat. So once we've established the master switches on, we've got various switches throughout the caravan. On this particular model range that we've got on the front near side bulkhead, we've got a double light switch. And the first one here that I operate is to turn on the overhead locker lights. So we've got the overhead cabinet light here and the curved bulkhead light. And that's the same on both sides. And then the next switch is going to do these two particular down lighters in the center of the caravan, as you can see. So on that front bulkhead, that's the operation for those particular items down there. Uh, moving further on round, I may as well do the spotlights. We've got uh, individual spotlights and these are touch sensitive. So the first time I touch this round little button here, I get a back background light come on. Second time I press it is we get the full uh, concentration of the light. Uh, that rotates to wherever you want that to be. Okay, and then the third time I press it is it turns it off. So I'll leave that on uh, I'll, just for illumination of the vehicle while we're in here doing video. Okay, and then moving through into the kitchen area, excuse me for a second, we've got an under locker light uh, and that's a touch sensitive again. So all I'm doing is just moving my hand from this side, roughly center of that cabinet, coming in across there, as you can see, and it's touch sensitive. Yeah. We also have the same on the offside seating area, this U-shaped seating. There's another strip light here. And again, it's just touch sensitive. Nothing difficult about its operation. Moving further back, you can obviously see we have got these overhead locker lights. Uh, these are individually switched now, all right? So it's not actually uh, operated from the front, front bulkhead. We've got our own individual switch here, which we can isolate those particular lights for illumination. And then on this particular one, on the spotlight, very much the same, but one, we have got an extra feature now on this particular spotlights in the rear fixed bed area they've actually got USB connections so uh, you might need to just move in a little bit so that you can might be able to see where those USBs just on the top base section they are illuminated that's it you have USBs on both of those light units Thank you. so moving into the tortoise arrangement in this particular coachman Arcadia they all operate on a pull cord system when you're coming into the toilet compartment so in this particular arrangement it's me the uh, just inside the door on the left hand side uh, in different arrangements, they will be just inside the door, either to the left or right as you're going in. So it is a pull cord arrangement and you can extend that cord to the size that you want it to be. You don't have to have it right up here, you can have it down there if you prefer. Uh, so if you are catering for younger children being in the vehicle, you can obviously operate that that way. But there's no way to isolate then any of the individual lights in the back end here. Once you're in the bathroom, it's the one switch that operates it. And uh, the only other lights that we do have are now on the vehicle are going to be on the outside of the caravan. You're going to find one above the near side entrance door, which is the awning light. And there's another one on the off side of the vehicle, just towards the front. And we call it the service light. And this particular light illuminates uh, a water container, battery box, mains, coupling area, which is literally on that front corner. But the main switch to operate it, you're gonna find located into this, I think it's the second bulkhead. Yes, it is. So you've got two overhead lockers here, for instance, and it's this one here, and that's the switch there. So that's the off position, that's the on position, if we are using that light on the off side of the vehicle. So quite a nice little feature that you've got something that illuminates it should you run out, uh, well, water or something like that, you need to get a new barrel. You've got some illumination on that side as well as on this side. So I'm just going to go on to a bit further with uh, this awning light. You've got the switch on the panel. You've also got some switches on this key fob. So this is your alarm key fob, uh, but you have got an awning light operation on this as well as an individual one. Uh, so I'm opening up the door just to demonstrate the awning light on the outside. If you watch the reflection on my hand, you can see that the awning light is on and off there. Yeah. Well, on the key fob, if I press this bottom right-hand corner, the one with the light knurling on it, I can also turn the awning light on and off remotely. 
so that's another way to operate the awning light remotely on the key fobs that are present. Um, and then just to uh, explain a bit further, when you do operate any of the alarm buttons, which is then the remaining three, um, first off, that's to arm it, the top left. The top right is to disarm the alarm. And then this one is to activate the alarm, but not the passive infrared. So you're actually taking out the passive infrared detection part of the alarm system. So if you had an animal that you kept inside the vehicle while you're going out for a meal or something like that, uh, you can actually isolate the passive infrared part of the system. You still got then active the tilt sensor. So that's to have just uh, the tilt sensor in operation. That's to have passive infrared and tilt sensor working and that's to disarm. And you do get a bleep and the awning light also illuminates for a 30 second period when any of those buttons are pressed just to indicate externally that you have actually uh, activated or deactivated the alarm system. Thank you for watching this very brief video. I will uh, demonstrate the alarm in another video.